Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Today I received a package and I'd like to do an unboxing and share it with you guys. I've been waiting for this a long time. I've been waiting for this to go on sale. And I never even found out that it wasn't on sale. I found out by accident when I called the person that I deal with and I told her that I really like this and she said, well, let me do a search on it. And currently it's on sale. It's not on sale for $295. I got it for a very, very good price, a very low price. I got it for $88. So I just had to buy it. I wasn't going to buy another bag because I, I bought seven this month. And I think that's enough for me for, for the rest of this year. But I just couldn't resist. And so I wound up buying it and here it is. And I hope that it's in good condition once again with the handles. But you know what? I'm laxing up with that because in my experience with the suede large market tote, uh, and it came like all like a mushroom and it was really in horrific shape and I wound up uh, changing it a little bit the handles stay straight up on that one and I wasn't even concerned with that I was concerned with the body of the tote and I am getting the wrinkles out and getting it to look like a really sharp looking bag which I will show you in another video so if the handles of this tote are folded and there's a very good chance that they are based on the size of this box I'm not going to freak out so at least I hope I'm not going to freak out this will be a first if I don't so, let's see this is actually another market tote and this will be my third market tote this month and um but this isn't the large market tote like my other ones this is the regular size one and when i first came to youtube one of the first videos i did was on a market tote and how i returned it because their handles are thinner than the large market tote and i was what i wanted is a bag to travel with and that bag didn't work out for me to travel with because the weight was not distributed properly and it was the thin handles dug into my shoulder. So I, I thought I wasn't going to get another market tote, a regular size market tote. But now that I have large market totes that I could use for travel, I could use a regular market tote as a regular bag. And I, that will work out for me. I'm sure that will work out for me. So here it is. And the color looks good. It's definitely, definitely the handles are folded because look how they put it. They put it in horizontal. But I mean, for $88, I cannot complain at all. This color is, is a saddle color and it's called the 1971 saddle which is more of like a burnished saddle than the other saddles that they had in the past. And they might be, I don't know, I don't work for a coach or know anything involved in the coach world, but it might be that they are trying to move this out and replace it with something else. So this is the bag, this is the color, for me, this will be a very useful color because I, I deal with just naturals. This is the price tag. And uh, let me tell you the specifics on this bag. This is style number. 58849 if you're looking for it. It is 12 and a quarter inches in length and that is this way. Up here I believe it's 17 or 18 if I remember correctly. It is 11 and a quarter inches in height, 6 inches in depth, 
it's practically weightless but I can weigh it for you guys because I know that's important to me and that's what I would like to know it has gold hardware when you put out the stuffing one pound ten ounces this the handles I believe are a ten and a quarter inch drop if I remember correctly it's in good shape. Uh, you know, these handles, if I put them on the doorknob for a week, <laughs> it, it will stay this way. It'll stand up. Oh, it has, a, oh my God. It has this. This is awesome because I'll be able to travel with, use this for the other bags that I want to travel with. Yay, that, that's a, actually, that's a biggie. It has a brown interior, which is all leather. The only thing not leather is the pocket, and that feels like a heavy-duty nylon or fabric of some kind. Here's the storybook. It has a zipper, uh, zipper pocket over here, and let's see if the zipper's good. perfect. And the pocket accommodates, goes further than my hand, goes up to my wrist. So guys, what do you think? Do you like this color? At first, when I first saw this in the store, I didn't like this color, but I got accustomed to it. I'm excited about it. I think it's a great, a great deal, $88. And this bag is $300 today, $295 on coach.com. So I, I got a really, really good deal. And it's a keeper for sure, absolutely. Well, I would do a what's in my bag. I'll do that at another time. But basically, everything. Whatever you want to carry, this holds. It's a really, really good size. And I, I am just so happy with it. I'm going to get one of those purse organizers for this, not a base shaper, because my things in the other, uh, the other toes I have, my things seem to get, you know, splashed around the bottom and they, they move all over the place. So I think I need a, a, um, a bag organizer. If anybody knows of a good one, could you please tell me in the comments? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time that you're spending with me very much. I hope you guys have a great weekend and fun shopping. And a shout out to my Dooney sisters in Connecticut who went to the Dooney and Burke tent sale. Uh, be safe coming home, guys, and have fun while you're there. Love you, everybody. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Take care now. Bye now.